Hey guys, Vinit here and welcome back to my YouTube channel V Diaries. In this video, we are going to put the Redmi Note 5 Pro to a gaming test. I have already covered gaming review of Redmi Note 5 and Redmi 5. You will find link to those videos in the description box below. The Redmi Note 5 Pro is stealing a lot of attention for many reasons. One of them is the hardship everyone has to go through to actually purchase this phone. Secondly, its amazing camera results and third, its CPU which has never been used in any phone before. The newest Snapdragon 636 chipset which is a significant upgrade from Redmi Note 4. It is coupled with Adreno 509 GPU and it comes with 4GB and 6GB RAM variants. Both these RAM variants come with 64GB internal storage. The 636 is more power efficient as the company claims and this is not only going to improve the battery performance, it is also going to support some high-end graphics games. Let's now play these games one by one and I am going to play these games on the highest graphics settings possible. The variant that I own has a 6GB RAM. I'll also be measuring the battery drains along with the temperature levels and will provide you the gameplay period for each game. Please note that I have played all these games back to back without any breaks and I'm only sharing short clips from each gameplay. I'm going to skip this footage for mid-level games like Subway Surfers, Mario and Temple Run 2 since they ran pretty smoothly and after the mid-level gameplay, the highest temperature rise that I saw was 40 degrees. Now let's roll some high-end graphics games that have been requested a lot on my channel previously. And to start with, let's have War Robots. The gameplay was buttery smooth. I played this game for almost 8 minutes and the battery has decreased by 2% and it's now showing 51%. The temperature has increased to 40.7 degrees Celsius. Let's now roll the Asphalt 8 Airborne. These are the settings for your reference which are set to the highest level. Let's check the gameplay now. The gameplay was pretty smooth. I did not find any frame drops and after 5 and a half minutes of gameplay, the battery has decreased by 3% which is now 48. The phone has started getting warmer at the back and temperature has now increased to 41.6 degrees Celsius. Now let's play some soccer.
The gameplay was pretty good. I did enjoy FIFA for 10 minutes and the battery indicator is now showing 46 which is 2% less. There was a small update that the game has asked and maybe because of that the temperature has decreased to 40.5 degrees celsius. It's still warm. The next game on my list is Into the Dead 2. A very short 2.5 minutes of gameplay and the temperature has again increased to 41.5 degrees celsius. The battery percentage has decreased to 45% which is 1% less. Let's now roll the hitman. Six minutes of Hitman gameplay without any lags or frame drops. This has increased the phone's temperature to 41.7 degrees Celsius, which is not too much, and 2% battery has been consumed. Now let's play a game that has been driving everybody crazy: the Player Unknown Battleground, or in short, PUBG. Due to hardware limitations, the graphic settings are limited to mid-level, as you can see on your screen right now. Now this one required a lot of patience and did not face any hiccups in my 15 minutes of gameplay. 
the battery consumption was 4% and temperature has reached its all time high which is 42.8 degrees celsius. So this is a graph that summarizes the gaming performance of Redmi Note 5 Pro. The phone does get warm and you can feel the heat obviously because of that metal back but I think that's the reason company has included the soft case along with it. I thoroughly enjoy the gaming on Redmi Note 5 Pro especially because of that crisp 18-9 display and a loudspeaker that takes the gaming experience to another level. I'm sure the 4GB version will also perform good with the gaming since the CPU is capable of handling high-end graphics games. If you guys want me to play any other games on this phone then let me know in the comment section below. I'll surely try to reward with my feedback on those gameplays. This has been Vinit and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.